Hi guys, welcome to another channel. So today I think I'm gonna make soup and I really like to cook here and talk with you because I don't know, it's just so relaxing. And I think it's about like the mundane things that make life exciting. Plus it's the weekend and I don't have a lot of play today. Today? Yeah, today is Saturday, oh my god. To try dragon fruit with you because I never tried it before. So it's gonna be my first time, but I'm gonna make like a yogurt kind of thing. Um, not that I need to eat at the moment because I had breakfast <laughs> not too long ago, but yeah, I think it's gonna be good. But first of all, let's make the soup. Drink a sparkling ginger beer because it's like one of my favorite drinks. Cheers. So for my soup, I'm gonna use a bunch of carrots. Then I'm gonna take one leek, as you can see as well, and also these kerchets. Two is gonna be good. Need also onions. One onion, perfect. Guys, I don't know about you, but I really like garlic, so I'm gonna take probably one garlic clove. This soup is gonna take spinach, but the spinach, I'm just gonna put it at the end um, after the soup is done. So let's start with the basics by peeling everything. I'm gonna spare you that. <laughs> olive oil then we start always with the onion and garlic then I put the leeks and finally you can put there's no specific order for this but you have the carrot and as well the courgette so it doesn't matter how you put them oh how do I open is it this supposed to come out as well mm, not really okay now this makes sense a lot of new youtubers on youtube so i just watch them randomly now i feel that this is the perfect moment to taste test this so we're gonna do together the test. I'm so scared. First time that I'm eating it, so I don't have a lot of expectations to be honest with you. So this is what it looks like, okay? Ooh, it's like this. Mmm, it's really good. It's like kiwi, but without the acidity. I don't have cereals, that's okay. So I'm gonna try this gut health, helping you live holistically with mixed berry and kefir yogurt. Sorry guys, you were getting the fumes. So now let's do like this. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Blueberries, just like that. I'm gonna steal one cookie from my boyfriend and put the cookie here, okay? Still, once the soup is done, I'm just bringing you here like this because I tried to record a video for about probably 10 times 
where I was trying to explain that I made a list of the ingredients that I bought yesterday at the supermarket because I'm trying to be more healthy, consistent, etc. But the two videos, the first one that I made, it was without sound. So I forgot to turn on the transmitter. That's why the microphone was not working. Now I'm without the microphone, by the way. And then uh, the second video I tried to make, I forgot to flip the camera. Uh, so I was basically recording nothing. So we have the sound, no uh, image. So now without microphone, just here in my sofa. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> and what I did is like, I wrote the ingredients here. Uh, on my notebook. I can think about what I'm going to cook for the week. I can be more self-conscious about the food that I eat and I put it into my body. Again, I'm not an extremist, so I'm not going to stop eating sweets or burgers or whatever. I'm going to continue eating what makes me feel happy, but I'm conscious that I need to put the right nutrients into my body and I'm going to make an effort to do that. Hello everyone. Today it's another day, but I'm going to show you my lunch. It's basically gonna be the soup that you just watched now. And I'm also gonna make a salad. Later on, we're gonna cook a new dish together, which is gonna be aubergine parmigiana. Aubergine parmigiana, I think it's the same. <laughs> anyway, by the way, look at my nails. They are freshly done. It's not very aesthetic, but here we are. So you have the feta, fat reduced. Um, it says three in terms of strongness uh, and that's why I like it I realized that now the chickpeas tuna red onion and the curly parsley and my soup is here it's amazing delicious hi guys we are back uh, with our cooking sessions it's still the same day as the previous clip but the thing is that I wanted to change clothes. Um, this is from Zara, by the way, it's not a pyjama, even though it looks like. So, we are gonna make our aubergine parmigiana and I'm gonna make it slightly different from the original recipe. I'm not Italian, by the way. But anyway, I'm gonna use two aubergines. This really looks like a basketball. Like, this is good. Like, if you need the sound for a basketball, you can take it from my video. Okay, that was nice. I'm gonna use a leek because I bought leeks to make a soup, and now I have this extra one and I don't want to throw it. So, I'm gonna use it. It's not part of the recipe. I don't know if this makes any sense to you, but I need to double wash the leeks all the time because sometimes you still have soil in the leek, like really inside. So I'm gonna wash it again. I don't know, but the lunch was a little bit too intense for me because it was a lot of food, the soup and the salad. Uh, you might think, no, it was not a lot of food because, I mean, when I think about these, I'm like, mm, yeah, but it's, it was, I got like pain in my stomach, a lot of pain in my stomach because of that and that's not okay, that's not normal as well. Oh, by the way, we keep the skin of the aubergine, you know the problem when you have big nails is that you need to be careful so you don't chop them. Washi washi. Guys, can you see the color of my nails? It's with glitter. Almost done. Why were they invented to make us cry? Like, that's a genuine question. Like, what's the purpose? This one really played with me 
and I'm really disappointed. Puccini Festival. Oh, oh, I mean, okay, butterfly. <gasps> I'm gonna put it here. Okay, this is a, a signal. probably gonna take a long time because it's one by one but I'll just put it here and on top of them I'll put a tiny bit of salt pepper of course more olive oil just on top this is how they look at the moment and let's keep in mind that we have to do this for all of them so I think these ones are done what you need from here is to have this amazing color right can you see them I hope you can I'll see you shortly Okay, this was quite a task, I must say, because I was not expecting that was gonna take so much time, but it's officially done. I cannot turn it too much, otherwise the oil is gonna come out. Um, probably, instead of doing the oil one by one, <laughs> I would uh, brush them one by one before putting in the pan with salt, olive oil and ground pepper. I think that will accelerate the process and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the sauce so I'm gonna take the same pan because I think that's crucial when you cook <laughs> to use the same pan so let's put a little bit of olive oil then we are gonna put first our onion I'm gonna put the garlic and I'm gonna put chunks because I feel it's going to be better so I don't eat it <laughs> and I'm also going to put the leeks do not need to put leeks for this recipe this is just because it's an extra that I have here and I want to make sure that it's not wasted now I want to start adding the tomatoes and the thing why I love to cook it's not because I like to follow a recipe, but it's because I like to have freedom to decide what I want to do. Like, if I have this cheese or if I like this one better than the one from the recipe, I can adjust it, so... Oh, it's on. So, it's not like I'm being... I'm so sorry. So, it's not that I'm being forced to do something that I don't like. It's the garlic aside because I want to do this to the tomatoes okay so just squeeze them now I'm gonna add a bunch of tomato paste let's do like this because it's quite hard for me to do this <laughs> just thinking, I could blitz all of this after, at the end but not really okay, I'm gonna add one, two two chilies is enough and I'm gonna also put all of this tomato let's put this lower Okay, now I'm gonna let it just cook 
and once everything is ready I'll come back here for you <laughs> a spoon of sugar guys we are back everything is done this is incredibly good I was thinking I'm gonna uh, bleed the sauce so it doesn't get any lumps or anything the vegetables disappear but then I thought why do I want to take the vegetables away like they are the best part like when I was trying the sauce I was like oh thanks god there are vegetables here so my parmigiana as I told you is not the traditional recipe blah 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 why I'm always repeating myself and so instead of parmesan I'm gonna use mozzarella which is one of my favorite cheeses and then I'm gonna use a mozzarella that I have here 30% uh, reduced fat so let's go first for this one if you are not doing any restriction feel free to do more than one mozzarella just do as many as you want but I don't want to put like a lot of cheese this one <laughs> I put this one just at the end of the fridge so it's a little bit frozen at the end anyway let's do like this so we're gonna start with the first layer of tomato Ooh, here is the garlic you see because it's a big chunk <laughs> again right away take it out it's just perfect The aubergine smells so good. I'm really proud of my. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Guys, can you see this? I'm even gonna leave the zoom which takes away the quality but you guys can completely understand what I'm talking about you don't need the cheese if you are on a diet but it's time to take this beauty to the oven I'm just gonna do it probably for 10 minutes just for the cheese to melt a little bit on the top no completely melt on the top except the mozzarella that we don't need to melt it completely you get what I mean I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna show a picture to <laughs> my parents my mother-in-law and my boyfriend of this amazing dish so they can look at me and think like oh she does know how to cook because I have been lazy lately <laughs> This is the final result, guys. I really don't want to <laughs> record anymore. One more time for the commotion. Look at this. Guys, it's, it's too good. We are officially done. So I just recorded for TikTok. <laughs> That's why it's already destroyed and now I'm here. Do this recipe. It's so good. Bye. See you on my next vlog. Mm -hmm. <laughs>